little people. Today, I've got a fantastic little story for you. It's a short one, but super funny. It's called, I'm going to eat this ant. Ugh! Have you ever eaten an ant? Ugh! I did once. It was horrible. Anyway, let's have a look at the story, because it's funny. Ants, ants, ants. And more ants. I've just about had enough of looking up wriggly, tickly, stingy, fighty, biting ants with my twisty, twirly tongue. The problem is, I'm hungry. What's an anteater to do? I know. For a change, I think I'm going to eat this ant. Served in a sandwich or sucked up a straw. Or maybe I'll eat it smothered in mint sauce or splattered with a spatula or shimmering in soup and scooped in a spoon. Perhaps sun-dried or salted or sliced like salami. Any of these would be nice. How about seared like a steak? Speared on a stick or squashed in a sausage, or maybe smoked with sardines, stir-fried and sautéed. And for dessert, I could have it set in a sorbet, or stuck on a sweet. Hmm. So many savoury, spicy, sugary snacks. Which scrumptious serving should I scoff? Let's see. Hang on, where is that ant? Ant! I'm simply starving now. Ant! Ant! Aha! There you are! Aha! I'm seriously considering something else for supper. And that's the end. What a crazy story. He got his tongue tied around a tree, literally. Did you like it? <laughs> I think it's fantastic. Ants. Blech. Horrible for eating. <laughs> but he did come up with lots of really good recipes, don't you think? All right, see you another day for another great story.